Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt for the PC, and we are on part 33 of our series. Hooray! <laughs> we are on the quest, it's actually a secondary quest, branching off from what we just finished up with uh, Kira Metz. And as you can see on the right, it's an invitation from Kira Metz. Um... And there we go, right here. So it's still a low level compared to where we are, but uh, this is more of a fluffer quest. Giggity. <laughs> Actually, it will turn out to be that way. We, unfortunately, will not be showing the sex scene. I don't think YouTube allows it. and uh, I mean, it's not graphic or anything, but uh, um, we're going to have to cut that out. <laughs> so if you want to see the sex scene, go watch another video. This is the experience. And we're about to gain a little more with Kira. <laughs> the rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison or crushed them into a pulp with a what shovel. Have we but here? no. Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage says, bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? That was kind of cool. All right. Let's see here. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very much so. I'm gonna look at her sundries. Oh, looky, we've got uh, all sorts of stuff here. Hybrid oil, thank you. Insectoid oil, thank you. What else do we got? Dra Ooh, another oil. Huh, I wonder what that is. Let's just buy all the books. Oh, I already have this. Oh, it's grayed out. Cool. Alright, don't have that, don't have that, don't have that. I already have that. Oh, cool. I have to look. Looks like she sells the really nice uh, enchantments for your weapons and armor, so that's awesome. And let's see how much money I got. Oh, she also sells that uh, respect potion. Let's just buy all this crap. Let's see how. Oh shit! I didn't want to buy runes. Damn it! Clicking too fast. So far, I haven't spent a ton of money. Hopefully Buckthorn is in here. This is what I really save my money for. And that should do it. Too bad I bought two of those accidentally. It looks like we spent quite a bit of money actually, but uh, we got a, got a ton of money saved up, so we'll uh, get out of there. I was hoping for like enhanced bombs. Okay, let's see what else we got for dialogue. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end. Burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists.
picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. That was probably back from one of the other Witcher games. So how's it feel to be the village witch? Ah, horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Mm hmm. Changing the subject. Alright, what else do we got here? Okay, that's probably going to kick off the quest. That's probably part of that. Any news of your sisters from the lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. Uh -huh. That's interesting. Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic and sensed I was no common wart charmer. I brewed him a potion. To delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss or some such. Who'd he want to use it on? He didn't say. That's interesting too. Alright, let's get to it. Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama, you've heard of it I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. Ooh. I managed to. But while on the island, I did sense something strange. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Pserad, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. <laughs> yeah, why not? Alright, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. That's going to be a fun Think quest. Be willing to chat? Of course, provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. That's pretty sweet. Put it in my back pocket, of course. How it fit there, I don't know. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. That's pretty cool. A walkie-talkie, a magical one. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Fi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And Geralt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Okay, well, I guess I was misled. I guess Nookie will be after the quest. So no need for cutting this uh, the scene out. That was cool, though. It was uh, pretty neat. It's sending us off on another really cool quest. And we got lots of herbs. Let's just take a gander. Since I am focusing on potions, I want you guys to, uh, you know, see what I do. Except in between videos. Superior. Dragon stream. Let's see what else we got going on here. Lots of de decoctions we can't make yet. Here we go. Got our oils. Oh, there's our enhanced elemental. I don't know if we just got that or we've just been carrying that around. Hybrid. Sectoid. I think we got a majority of uh, our oils. Sure we didn't miss any. Okay. All right, we're moving and grooving, so let's pop on out here. I think this will be a good place to... That looks pretty good to end the video like that. I think we'll keep this one nice and short and sweet. And we're actually going to go do the Crones of the Woods next, I believe. Let me get the quest out. Um, Ladies of the Woods. Um, they're actually pretty neat. This this quest is going to be really fun, but this is going to tie into our Family Matters quest. I think this one is the one we really need to do. You know what we should probably look at? What's the level requirement for the other one? Maybe that was a secondary quest. Yeah, tower mice. Maybe we should do that next then. If if it's a secondary quest. Yeah. All right, we're going to change it up then. Maybe we'll continue on with this chain um tower mice. I think that is a nice long quest. Um not horribly long, but it's got a great story to it. Um you get a boss fight and um we we actually have an, uh, a very oh I'm trying to think of the word here. We got a pivotal part of the storyline with Kara coming up, so it'll be it'll be good. It'll be good. I don't really know what I'm gonna choose to do, but it's gonna be one of those things that you can choose to go one way or the other, and it is a permanent choice. It's not one of those, you know, no matter what you choose, you just kind of do it, whether. It, or not you want to be good or bad you just kind of get through with it this is going to be a permanent choice quest um trying to think what else i should probably say ahead of time too just so you guys have an idea um i know there was a uh a dialogue option during the last quest before this um whatever this um, following the darkness or whatever that quest was um, we s can start building relationships with the different women you meet too so the dialogue will also affect your relationship choices I tend to want to be a loner um, I have chose to go toward um, one of the women in this game and uh, just to see how that played out I mean, it's nice if you want to have a relationship but uh, Eh, not really interested. So I kind of, I kind of burned the bridges for relationships at least. But uh, I think that that's that'll do it all for this video, this uh, this part. And I think what did I say? Nine thirty. Yeah, this is. 
Oh, this is part 33. Hmm. Huh. I think it is. Anyways, we're kind of we're getting further in the game. I'm I'm pretty excited. We're coming up on uh, significant parts to my series, and I think it's playing out really well. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I know we're kind of hopping around, but I'm trying to keep it steady. I don't want to cram too much into each video because some of the videos end up taking um, 25, 26 minutes. It seems because I'm trying to you know smush two of them in, or maybe it's a big main quest like with Kira that we um, we we broke it down because the dialogue sometimes can increase the video time like me talking right now is adding a few more minutes to it so we're at 16 minutes coming up in a few seconds so like comment subscribe and share and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video until next time guys as always